Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, John Shaves 101, another Sunday, another Sunday spotlight. We've got a good one for you today. What I thought I'd do is I thought I'd let you know what my top five Ariana and Evans scents were. Um, now I've only got six. <laughs> I've only got six A and E soaps, and there's a reason for that because. Uh, me and A&E soaps don't get along and it isn't the soap, the soap is excellent stuff, smells fantastic, excellent quality, it's just a, appears to be something in my DNA that doesn't get a lot of scent from A&E soaps, but there's a story to tell with that, what happened was um, very recently a soap came along, it was gifted to me, um, an A&E soap uh, and when I opened it and smelt it, uh, wonderful wonderful strong superb strong wonderful scent absolutely fantastic i bought the matching splash uh, and then what it did was it caused me to visit to a and e soaps i had previously bought put away and never even used them because the scent strength was so low uh, when i opened them up again the scent strength had, it had at least doubled at least doubled and i got some wonderful scents through them um, and i was so surprised uh, and delighted I went and bought accompanying splashes for those so the love affair <laughs> is um, it's back on I suppose we're not not back on um, but I am I'm, I'm, uh, I'm giving them an, another crack of the whip shall we say uh, maybe I think it's my nose um, maybe there's something in their base that just doesn't gel with my DNA or something I don't know but for whatever reason um, that was it but I've revisited them, um, the scent strengths are there, I'm picking up notes, absolutely wonderful. I'm going to dig them out and start using them. It's an opportunity for you, let me know which one you'd like to see me use first uh, in the comments below this. Let me know what you think of A&E soaps. The soaps themselves uh, are lathered up with Kaizen this morning. That's wonderful stuff, absolutely wonderful stuff. Um, great quality, great slickness, uh, smells okay, yeah. But um, like I said, it's not A&E, it's me. I'll just put that out there. Um, I don't seem to get a great deal of strength out of any of them. But anyway, enough waffleization. Let's go on. We'll start. I'll start with five and I'll work my way back to my number one scent. At number five for me would be this. Barbier Sophisticato. Oh, what, what, I, I, what, can you see where I bought that? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm saying... Yeah, it's like, I think this is a barbershop scent from A&E. And you do get, there is, there is a hint, yeah, there is a hint of the barbershop. But to me, I get leather, wood, like a, like an old, like an old barbershop cologne type. If you, those old cologne things that try to replicate barbershop, that's kind of the scent. I get from there it's nice it's nice very nice a nice like like a mixture of wood and leather in an old shop you know it's absolutely beautiful so that that would be fifth despite being one of the best scents of all time if not the best scent of all time one reaches number four by the scent i mean that creed this is their take on creed now guys this is a perfect example of me and a and e not gelling because from that i get nothing i the scent strength on that for me i would say is one if i get right then and get this ever such a minuscule hint of pineapple if if that if that's that but not so with the splash with the splat that's superb undeniable Oh, yeah, straight away. Very complicated. Very much Creed. You recognise it a mile away. Wonderful. So, do you know, I'm just, I'm trying to be positive, but trying to be honest as well and figure out myself what's going on. One of the soaps that I bought and the scent strength was zero. I think I actually said it in a previous video as well. And I'll just put it out there, guys. I do not like saying anything negative about any soap, any splash, any shaving product. Um, I don't like saying it full stop. I, I will always be truthful. 
but I will always try and be positive as well because that's that's what we're all about, aren't we? And positivity and building people up, not tearing people down. So cult hipster. When I got this, it, it was like the Spartacus. Revisited it last week. And straight away. Yeah. The scent strength has doubled. It was about two and a half, maybe three. I bet it's five, five and a half, maybe even a six now. Yeah. You don't you don't have to struggle. I get in banana. I get banana, mango, and woodsiness like a like a cedar wood or something in the background there. That's absolutely wonderful. I get those, those are the I don't get more than one or two cents from most sorts that I smell when I stick my nose in. There is usually one note that jumps out at me straight away and then one that follows behind it and then occasionally occasionally if i keep the, the nose in and keep sniffing i'll get maybe like one right at the back but for the most part i tend just to get one or two that pop out at me so that's one of the ones i feel like i've gained it smells absolutely fantastic looking forward to using it can't get the splash anywhere another one of the ones i think i've gained look at this peaches and cognac I bought the splash. I bought that and SoCal Hipster together because of all the hype. Well, I've took, can you see, I've took, I've took loads out. Never actually used it, but given loads of it away and sent it to people and said, what do you think of this? And the reports have all come back. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. We get all these wonderful complex scents and everything. And I'm at it. I just, I don't, the scent strength is quite clearly once again doubled from like a two and a half to a five yeah it's you don't need to work to find it now the scent strength is there i get orange then orange orange and but there's like a flowery scent to it as well but i get orange and vanilla yeah that's it orange and vanilla that's what i get from that one i, I don't get the cognac i don't get anything else i just get that but isn't that the beauty of this habit a habit this hobby um, it's a habit actually isn't it this hobby that we all get something different out of it don't we so that would be four um top five, uh yeah yeah what we got so we've got five four three two one number one number one cent here nyc absolutely well, i think it's number one for sentimental reasons as well Get this, guys. It's right up my street. I think it's it's um, patchouli, vetiver. Uh, there's like a white musk scent to it. Absolutely wonderful. And I bought this. That's been sat there for four years. And it still smells. I would put the scent strength on that now as it sits there. At four and a half, maybe five. Uh, which is why I don't understand why that and the cognac were so low when I got them uh, several months ago. And that's been sat in there for four years and still smells fantastic. I couldn't get the splash for that. But that would be number one. Uh, honourable mentions now. Honourable men Because it's a top five, isn't it? I might actually call it my top seven. But that would be my top five. The one that, that brought me back uh, was this one. Asian pear. Look at that. Absolutely. Now, do you know what, guys? Oh yeah unmistakable pear and if you sniff long enough i get sandalwood as well but do you know what else i get from that i get cinnamon and yet i don't think there's any cinnamon in it but there's a there's maybe a chocolatiness and i think i think it, it's I'm, I'm i've had a chocolate and cinnamon pear pudding at christmas it, it was absolutely beautiful and it smelt like that. I said, I think my brain is putting cinnamon in there when there isn't actually cinnamon in. But that's the scent I get. I get pear, primer, I get pear, cinnamon, and sandalwood from that. I like that one. And then, <clears throat> last but by no means least, we get that one. Vetiver. And it's just vetiver, guys. It's just exactly what it... Yeah, it's very, very rich. It's, it's a... It, it's a... Um, it's a complicated, it's probably the best word I can describe. It's like a complicated, better than. It's not complicated, like very rich, 
It's a very rich vetiver. So I've got other vetivers and you smell them and it's like, well, yeah, it's vetiver. But this seems to have, and this seems to be like vetiver plus, you know, there's something else going on. And if you sniff long enough and hard enough, I get a subtle hint of tobacco as well. But they're the uh, honourable mentions. But none of them, guys. And do you know, I picked an awful day. There's something. There's something in the stars aligning every time I go anywhere near A and E. Uh, my nose isn't working the best today. But that's it. That's it, guys. A and E, wonderful soaps, wonderful scents. I did say in the last video when I was when I was talking about about let's get them the right way. When I was talking about these two, I did say the scents are absolutely wonderful just doesn't seem strong enough uh, and in general for a and e for me as i sit here now and it is me it's not the soap it's me i sit here right now i would still say the scent strength could be doing with being tweaked up on them all for me but like i say that's me not the soap wonderful soaps i lathered one up this morning i've lathered a couple of them up in the past wonderful lather super duper slick smell fantastic um, and perform really well so I'm looking forward I'm going to dig them out start using them let me know which one you'd like to see me use first let me know what you think I say what you think of A&E uh, there's nothing but love in the community for A&E and rightfully so superb quality soaps and Peter Charcalis is a fantastic guy really genuine he's always out there in the community he's commented on my videos and Instagram posts in the past uh, and he's commented on Samantha's as well so he's out there, he's a really nice guy, really nice company, want to support his company, want to support him, he's, uh, he's old school, so we want to support him, don't we? Um, but that's it, so we're showing A&E some love today. Thanks for listening, please let me know what you think. Please click like and subscribe, I've had some new subscribers, thank you guys, uh, and look after yourselves and I will see you on Wednesday for the Wednesday Shave. Cheers, guys. Bye.